Truth coming back at you with another video. I know that it's been a while. Um, tonight, I decided to go ahead and make another video. Get back into the routine of doing videos. Um, tonight, the video is going to be about this right here. This proper 12 Irish whiskey, which eventually I'm going to be doing a video with uh, Jameson as well because I got this idea from somebody who said, I tell you, you know, sometimes I mess with uh, Jameson and he said, Oh man, you ever had proper 12 before? And um, I told him, I said, Nah. So he basically was like, Yeah, you know, try it out or whatever. So I said, All right, you know, I, you know, I give it a try or whatever, give it a shot. So eventually, you already know one of the next videos that's coming out will have, uh, well, there's going to be a versus a battle of the bottles. Uh, Jameson versus Proper 12. So tonight I'm just doing a video on the, the Proper 12. So I'm going to do mine. Um, it's going to be about the taste. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of a story about it. Um, and just tell you, what I, you know, what I think about it. So, so Proper 12, as we know, is a Irish whiskey. They say it's a smooth blend with uh, hints of vanilla, honey, and tasted wood. I don't know if I ever had, like, tasted a, a sweet taste to it or not, but I'm gonna try to pay attention to it tonight and see. Um, we know that it's distilled, uh, triple distilled aged bottle um, from Ireland. It's an aged four years in bourbon barrels, okay? There's nothing too fancy about the bottle. I said you see the logo or whatever. There's nothing too fancy about it. Uh, they do got a, you know, the, like a wine cork that pops or whatever with the bottle, as you can see. But uh, it's nothing too much on the back of the bottle to really talk about. I basically said everything that I really had to say about it. I said if you if you decide to let's say, pick this bottle up. You can read the back. So we're gonna go ahead and uh try to you know do a uh, taste trial. And I'll probably do two, you know, two shots or whatnot to get my opinion. So first I'm gonna you know I'm gonna you know, sip the shot a little bit. For whiskey, uh, don't taste bad. They said you got a, you got a little, a little burn towards the end. Uh, I guess you could taste the sweetness. I mean, if you're really looking for it, for the price of it, because I think a fifth of this is about, about 30, 30 bucks. Yeah, so it's not that strong, but you still get, like I say, you got a little, a little burn after it. Um, it's not bad. Um, I already know mixing it, like I say, because chasing it, most people chase this with Coke or Pepsi. Uh, it's a lot of different ways to chase it. So I, you already know it's gonna be good with a chaser. So, as far as tastes go, I'm gonna give it a, for whiskey, you know, different whiskeys I had, cause I didn't, you know, I haven't had that many, but I had like say Crown Royal, uh, Jack Daniels, um, Jameson, um, 
and probably a couple others. I just I just can't remember. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't remember. Uh, I had Gentleman Jack, you know, that Jack Daniels. Uh, this is not that bad. So taste wise, out of five, I would give it a. Let's see. I guess it depends on your taste buds. Uh, I give it like a 3.8. I say it's still got a certain taste to it, um, but it's not bad. Like I said, maybe when I do the the proper 12 verse Jameson, since they're both uh, Irish whiskeys, maybe that thought may change. So it's about 3.8 out of five. Uh, Mixing it, I know it's not that bad. Um, texture, whatnot, it's not. Say, taste the 3.8, texture of it, I'll probably give it, like I said, 3.8. And when I say, what I mean by texture, I'm talking about, like I said, when it, the boldness and whatnot, when it first, you know, hit your lips, hit your mouth, and whatnot. Um, however, the after story that I do have, or story that I have to conclude, or sorry, include about this stuff here what I experience and what I don't like is maybe let's like say you take one or two shots you might be okay um I realized that out of different whiskey stuff that I have had in the past this one dehydrates you it seems like you it's you know you get dry mouth uh I feel like you get a little sluggish you know you wake up the next day or whatever, you might feel a little sluggish. You know, some people might say, well, that's well, alcohol, depending on how much you drink. No. Proper 12, it seems to, you won't have a headache, but it do, to me, feel like it fatigues you a little bit. And <laughs> you probably don't want water near you um, while you're sleeping or whatnot. Uh, but... Yeah, other than that, um, that's my review on Proper 12. I hope somebody found some uh, some help on deciding, you know, whether or not they should go to the store and uh, buy this bottle or not. You know, if you found this helpful, like comment and subscribe I definitely would appreciate it if you help support the channel and with that said this is your boy truth i appreciate you guys watching and tuning in and until next time peace